come, you say you will when you won't. Oh, baby, do, baby, when you don't. Let me know, honey, how love feels. Here's the truth now, is love real? Honey, don't. Good morning. Welcome to uh, an episode of Open Air with Tom Remington. It's uh, Friday, October the 9th. And I ask you this morning, what's what's going on in the world? You know, um, if if you're like me, you've begun to question how you think, your thought process. Is there something wrong with me? Is there something wrong with my head? You know, what's good is bad. What's bad is good. Um, you know, it, it's. I'm almost to the point I'm, I'm actually questioning my own sanity, for God's sakes. You know, yesterday, uh, throughout the day, by the time I went to bed last night, I was so angry at, uh, at everything that was going on. And, you know, it's, it, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Um, you know, the gold has hit an all-time high. The dollar has hit an all-time low. Uh, countries around the globe are talking about getting away from the dollar because it has no value anymore. And yet, we just keep on spending. We keep on spending, printing money, spend, spend, spend. And Nancy Pelosi's out there telling, we don't spend enough. That's our problem. We don't spend enough money. Well, we spent so much friggin' money to this point, we're all in a bunch of trouble. Nobody has saved a nickel. We just spend. Keep getting a credit card. Buy something. Spend more money. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't understand it. You know. And then and then we hear about. Okay. We hear about the the finance committee has pulled out this magic wand or something, and they've created this health care bill. They send it over to the Cr congressional budget office, which you know has probably been threatened by the Obama administration that if you don't produce us some good numbers on this, you know, you're all in trouble. So they, you know, take a bill that doesn't exist and they come up with a number of what it's going to cost, you know, and then we find out from the time that that information was put out that there's been 70 some amendments attached to this bill that we're not even going to, nobody even knows about. And now Harry Reid's got his own bill, and he's going to figure out a way to attach it to an existing bill so he can get it slid through and nobody will even know about it. What the hell's going on? The whole world has gone corrupt. Our country is corrupt. There's no, there's no moral fiber left. And we're sitting here silently watching it all happen. I don't understand it. You know, yesterday we find out President Obama has decided, again, I guess he pulled out his little magic fairy wand or something, and he's figured out that the Taliban isn't our enemy anymore. Really? Go tell that to the parents of kids who have died in Afghanistan from bullets and bombs made by the Taliban. My God. God, uh, Obama, are you nuts? Ab evidently, the guy has just, his, he's totally lost it. So what's he going to do? We're not going to fight the Taliban anymore. We're going to fight Al-Qaeda. And by the way, Al-Qaeda, they're so disabled, they can't fight in the world anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to displace a bunch of Afghani people and give the Taliban some land over there. And if that ain't good enough... We're going to let them have a say in the government. After all, they are indigenous people. This guy's a moron. This guy has no brain. He either is the stupidest man alive, or he's a Muslim implant. I mean, holy cow. What is wrong with, with people in this world? And if that wasn't enough, I had to wake up this morning and find out that this guy wins the Nobel Peace Prize. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine? That? This guy wins a Nobel Peace Prize. Two things. There's two things that you have to know now. One, the Nobel Peace Prize is a total farce. I thought it was a farce when they gave it to Jimmy Carter. Okay? But they've given it to, to Barack Hussein Obama, who has done 
that right there zip zilch zero nothing he's done accomplished nothing since he's been president of the United States they're giving it to him because I guess they think maybe he might do something what does that tell you what God what are they what are they running around like like three blind mice there I don't get it I don't know of anybody who isn't shocked by it did you hear the announcement you know, the, the, the announcement on, on TV this morning when they showed it on the news when the guy announced Barack Hussein Obama, everybody in the audience went, <gasps> are you kidding me? You could hear him mumbling. And even our own mainstream media is giggling about it. You know, it's like, <sighs> what in the hell is going on? You know, I, it's, um, I'm angry. Uh, I want my country back. Um, I don't want Barack Obama and Bill Ayers and and uh, you know all all of his uh, his radical czars and everything else running my country anymore. He's destroying it. You know when the founding fathers created the U.S. Constitution, you know it's a wonderful document. And the problem is that that those on the left and the progressives who don't like to use the Constitution. Uh, a lot of it has to do with the simple fact that our founding fathers told us that the only way that this constitution will work to, to, uh, to govern this country and to keep it on course is it all has to be based on morals. That's right. It has to be based on morals. We have no moral fiber left in this. None. Corruption is so deep, it's unbelievable. You know, there's no more discussion about disgusting moral issues anymore. They're just readily acceptable. Lying is nothing. Obeying the law is nothing. We don't even have anybody in Congress who obeys laws anymore. Nah. Not at all. You pass a law, they don't care. They just go do, do what they're going to do anyway. And we sit here like a bunch of idiots and say and do nothing about it. Well, it's up to you. Okay, it's up to you. It's, it's either time you speak up and demand an end to this, or you sit there quietly and watch this country go to hell. Because that's where it's going. And it's being led by Barack Hussein Obama. This guy doesn't know anything. He doesn't know anything about... He has, he has turned his back on all of our friends in, in Europe. He's taken up with... with, uh, with uh, I'm a nut job in Iran. You know, he's going to sit down and talk with people that want to kill you and me. And him sitting there, you know, sipping tea with them isn't going to change their mind. You know, and, and now he's going to legitimize the Taliban and let them have a, have a part of the government in Afghanistan. Like, like he woke up one morning and, and he decided that the Taliban isn't an enemy anymore. It's up to you. It's time for you to do something about it. What you gonna do? This is Tom Remington. Thanks for joining me on Open Air this morning. And this is a little bit different show than what you're used to seeing when you come here. But you go have yourself a nice day. We'll see you next time. When you don't let me know, honey, how love feels. Here's the truth now, is love real? 